Brand number one. Tommy's in this stance. He's going to go with a rear uppercut, so we're in kind of close range, a hook. But instead of trying the cross, which is one of the combinations that we covered previously, cross. So the combination we covered is rear uppercut, hook, cross. At this point, I'm probably shelling quite a lot. I'm covering, I'm shelling. So instead of throwing the cross, he's going to throw the cross over the top of the pad, pull it down and away, and then break into a hook. So this is what Loma's really good at. He will pull the guard out of the way. The cross will go over the top. He will clear the arm and then straight into a hook. So combination one for the round one is up, get hook, cross goes over the pad, clear, and then hook. Yep. So he can slap the hand out of the way. It takes a bit of practice to get used to because you're usually trying to punch this pad and it feels really weird to kind of punch over it. Basically what Tommy's doing guard up his tongue is I'm going over the top of his hand and then pulling it out of the way if you spin around. So we're going with an uppercut, you see, hook. So Tommy's going to be covering with this hand. One, two. Then I'm going over the top of it and slapping it down. And then delivering that hook. It's a nice little trick. Here we go. Uppercut hook. Over the top. Yeah. Loma does that a lot in his fights against people who shell. Because the problem with shelling is there's not many easy options to hit them. So he slaps her arms out of the way. Round number two, we're going to do the same but on the other side. This one's a bit more tricky to go. Tommy's going with a lead up cut, so he dips down his right shoulder first, lead up cut, cross. Now, my guard would be covering, obviously. He's going to use his hook hand to knock it out of the way, lean back, and then throw the second hook. Now, he's going twice with the same hand here, which can present problems in terms of mechanics for people. So he wants to go slap and then lean back, put his weight on the rear leg, nice sharp twist of that lead foot, shoulder shrug to get power. Lead up cut, cross, clear the hand. Oh, he's excited. That's good. So, um, with this one, this one makes more sense from the pad's perspective because I'm holding this right pad in front of the left pad. This is my head. This is my guard. Tommy knocks my guard out of the way to then hit my head. So it'll make more sense. It's just a little bit more clear. Tommy starts in his stance. Goes with the lead up cut cross. Clear. And the weight shift for the rear is what gives you power in that second hook. Again, lead. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's excellent. Really, really nice. Round number three, put them together. We're going to change the order slightly so it makes more apparent sense. So we're going to start with the drill we did in the first round, which is uppercut, cross, punch over the top, clear. We're going to go with an uppercut into the hook, clear the guard, and then the hook again. Spin around this way so you can just get a different angle on it. So now we're clearing the guard in two ways. Slapping down off of the cross and slapping down off of the hook, but we combine the drills. Slowly, rear uppercut, cross goes over the top, clear, continue with the uppercut. Now I put the two pads like this so you can clear the first pad into that power hook again. So again, uppercut, hook, cross, clear, hook, uppercut, clear. <laughs> Tommy's uh, keen to get the uppercut going again. Slowly, 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 because this is quite technical. Uppercut, hook, over the top, clear. Uppercut, clear the guard. Very nice. Yeah. So that's taking techniques that uh, uh, Loma does a lot in his fights, slapping down the guard and putting them into drills on the pad. Really good um, work for advanced boxers who want to break apart opponents' guard using destructions and clearing.